in this video i am going to do this practice so this quiz will be composed of multiple fusion models so we needed to make uh, basically four models three are the components and the fourth one is the assembly so we needed to save that quiz three part one last name first name quiz three part two last name first name and same quiz three and the fourth part is the assembly of the model so the first model is the part one and as you see the description of that part one it's telling us part one inches so units are given in inches so you must check that what is given for the units of uh, the uh, practice quiz or any model first thing is that you must know the mm, units so part one inches so that means the units are given in inches create the following model its bracket with the given dimension the thickness of the bracket is one inches so this is the bracket we needed to draw it on the bottom face so first thing is that i am going to change the units so selected units are in millimeter but we needed inches click ok then go to create and select this bottom surface go to line and draw a line like that line like that just we just draw a rough surface matching to our given drawing so after that we can add the dimensions and the constraint so after drawing this select so if you see here there is a midpoint relation between this line and this uh, point so i am going to add a midpoint relation between this line and this this point and this line and then go to create and sketch dimension this dimension is given as 0 0.5 and this dimension is given as 0 0.25 and this dimension is given as 0 0.25 and the length is 1.5 this was the width from this line to this line and now the length is from this point to this line it's 2.5 and then add a equal relation for this line and this line it will fully define this sketch finish this sketch go to home view go to extrude and select this inner profile and this length of extrusion is given as one click ok then again go to create select this surface circle draw a circle like here go to sketch dimension and this dimension is given as 0 0.5 and from this center of that circle to this line this dimension is given as 0.5 and from here to this line its dimension is given as 0 0.5 finish go to extrude select this circular profile and drag that in that direction and under distance select all and make sure operation is select cut because basically we want to make a cut you can see that what we did we make this hole and now the next part is part 2 inches and this is the description of that part that save the model so go to save save and it's asking about the name what is the name quiz 3 part 1 last name first name and this is the location in the fusion in the fusion it will be saved in the fusion so click save so this model will be saved in the fusion environment so if you want to save this model in your uh, laptop or computer so go to here file and export and select the location where you want to uh, save it so i go here and select the desktop there is a new folder i want to save it here click save and export it will be this model in the fusion will be moved into my laptop okay so this is the first model it's done now this is the second model part two so this is the drawing of that model is given create the following model using devolve now we will make this uh, half sketch because we wanted to make that model uh, using the revolve command and it's fully with the given dimension revolve full 360 degree so we will make a full 360 degree revolve you must make some modification to the pulley so we can 
see the rotation marking with the face or the indications so it in the assembly it will be rotating so that why we will make a cut or something like that and in the 3d view this must be shown in that way so go to fusion go to document setting change units to inches click ok go to create and now i am going to select this my front pane and go to line 2 so i am going to draw a line like that like that just a rectangle and go to sketch dimension this dimension from here to this point to this point it's given as one and the whole this dimension full dimension is given as three but we needed 1.5 because we are making half sketch then here you can do this shape by adding a circle here or you can do it by adding an arc and this dimension 3 if we are if we make the full sketch then we needed to make the three dimension but as you know we are making the half sketch so that's why I just added uh, 1.5 so I'm going to select a circle and draw a circle make sure you draw the circle in the middle of that line but uh, we can also do that just simply draw a circle here then go to midpoint select this point and this line it will be in the middle of that line and then we needed to make that uh, circle this the circle must touching this end point of that line and end point of that line so we can either make that by adding the dimension like go to scale dimension and add a dimension one so it will be touching these points or we can also do that like that if we delete this dimension and select the tangent select this line and this line and it will be touching this point so finish go to home view select the revolve command and for the profile i am going to select this profile this bottom and axis this axis so it's done and then we needed to make a circular hole here this dimension is 0 0.5 click ok then go to extrude select this profile move that handle in that direction so it will cut the material and make sure the abrasion is cut under the extend make all click ok so it's done so now there is a requirement you must mark some modification to the pulley so we can see the rotation so I am just going to add here just add a little cut or we can make a text here what is text it's a just simply put that click finish and then just Or make a cut like that so we just put that indication and save this model it's save it now there is a third part so it's showing part 3 inches create the following model it is a pin with a 0.5 inches diameter the length of the pin is 2 inches so the total length of this pin is uh, 2 inches and we needed to make uh, the pin with the 0.5 diameter so it must fit in the hole and just first thing is that change the units to inches ok create so I'm going to create the P 
pin on this plane and just select circle dimension is 0.5 finish extrude and the length of the extrusion is given as 2 save it part with 3 part 3 ok so it's save now we move to the last part of this practice quiz so part 4 is inches 4.38 the following assembly so the assembling assembly meaning is that we we just made these models so now we put these uh, components together to make it uh, assembly all these components together to form a assembly and we use some commands which is uh, which in the fusion environment we call them joints so basically we are joining the components with each other to make a assembly so that's what we are going to do in the assembly so let's open the fusion and to do the assembly first thing is that always when you are going to do assembly always save the model so first thing is that you will save a model like just a, a new tab I got I got it there is a new tab so just go here and click save so it's part 4 it's with 3 something okay so when you save this uh, part the part is saved just an empty model nothing is here that is the way of the assembly so when the part is uh, saved like a new uh, window which is uh, which have nothing in it you save that thing then go to a component click on here then right click and then there is uh, this window will appear insert into current design okay so click on hit insert into current design so now this part will be moved into that window which we just saved it so now this part will be show in that window it will take some time like little time now this part is shown in here so when when you move this part into that uh, part so it will become a, an assembly environment so when whenever you will move a part in the assembly environment it will show a this pop-up window move copy so this is basically about if you want to make the make the um, part um, like place it somewhere else or like if you want to rotate it like that so it's just about the adjustment so we don't need it uh, to change that model so just click here so then go here this model this is the part one which we move into that window so go here and click here and click ground so this part will be grounded no it it is not able to move if we don't ground it it will be uh, moving in the direction if if you drag it no i am dragging it but it's not moving so this is our first part and this one is our second part so insert into the current design so now this part the part 3 uh, sorry the part 2 will be moved into the uh, current design environment okay so now i just drag this handle in that direction so these two parts are not touching each other and click okay and as you see there is a uh, this tab assemblies and if you open it there is a new component joint so what we are going to do we are going to add the joint so click on joint and there is component 1 component 2 and there is type of joint which you want so for this we need a revolve revolve meaning when two, when two components have a motion revolving motion with each other 
so click on Crival and then for the first component I am going to select this this edge this circular edge and when you go to the circular edge a little plus sign will be showing here it is the center of that revolving joint which we are going to add so select that and then you needed to rotate that metal in that direction you can rotate it from here so this surface is shown then select this this one so as you see it will be showing a little animation that this model is revolving with respect of this so click ok and here <coughs> Now we needed to insert the third part so go here insert into current design and the part will be moved into the assembly environment. So it will be moved here just drag it in that direction and click OK. So now again go here on assemblies click joint and now I am going to select a rigid. So rigid meaning there is no motion it's fixed with that so I have I selected that as you know the total uh, width of this uh, this part one is uh, 1.5 and the total uh, width of this uh, uh, pin is 2 so the pin must be outside from this part 3 it must be outside like 0.5 so on the both side it will be 0.5 so I am going to select this surface and I am going to select this surface. So it will be fixed in that direction. But as you see there is alignment. So if you see in that direction the pulley is like there is a showing in the in that direction. So we needed to make in, in the both direction equal length from this surface. Surface of the first part. So just click here and drag it. So as you see its move offset is uh, so there is uh, one mistake I did I did not change the units so I just simply put 0.25 inch just type it inch and click OK now it will be in uh, same distance on the both sides and under the document setting change the units to millimeter this was my mistake but it's OK so now this assembly is done now you can like when you rotate the model you can see it's rotating that because of the revolve command joint type we just added so this this is the indicator which is telling us that this model is rotating as you can see in, in the video and we can also animate this uh, joint there is a revolve joint so go here right click and animate joint so it will start animating this joint, this revolve joint. So just click anywhere, like on select, and it will stop. So this is the part four. Save it. It's all done.